Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to a brand new series of One Hour Limit Locked. That's right, we're about to kickstart Season 3. It's Tomb Raider season, baby. And I've even reskinned my character to look as close to Lara Croft as possible. I'm excited to get on into it. Today is going to be a bit of a slow burn at the start, I think. We're going to be just like catching up with basic shit like birdhouses. We'll do a run and we need to make sure we go to miscellanea and top our favor up because it's been a couple of weeks so it's probably slipped quite away and the gold there as well and if we get for all that okay and we have some time left over i may have a little quest to do to go towards a diary i'm going to be looking at a couple diaries so that i can build some farming infrastructure to start to get some more passive GP per day because we are going to need a lot of money this season, folks. About 16 mil to get the setup that I want to go into raids. So, yeah, I'm just going to get on into it because I'm sure there's going to be lots of time for me to talk during today's session as we are doing little mindless things like topping up our miscellanea i'm at hype to be getting back to it i can't remember where i left myself okay i'm just at varrock bank so we're gonna go into the bank and get straight onto a birdhouse run look how cute we look okay where am i what logs am i on at the minute jeez i think it's mahogany clockwork hammer can never forget the chisel Okay, that is good to get us started. We'll go to Fossil Island. I forgot to bring my Alks. We've got about a mil sat in the bank at the minute. And our coffer at Miscellanea is down to zero. 47k it says. I would like to add at least 500k to that. But yeah, the plan is to start doing farm runs and herb runs at the same time. Probably one lot of each per day it will add a little to our daily upkeep of things that we have to do but i'm not gonna do any farming patches that are longer to get to i'm gonna keep it as concise as i can so that we still have the majority of our day to do whatever we want to do on any given day i am gonna go and pick up those herbs because they're worth gp and somebody doing herbivore dropped them for me how kind of them. Okay, and then we are going to go get a little reset and head on over to Miscellanea next. I just need to get myself a pickaxe and my Alx Miscellanea. Oh, I forgot cash. Shit, I should get cash. Take two. Yeah, we've got a lot of gear to get, so we need a lot of money this season. 16 mil, like I said, roughly roughly the gear setup itself is like 14 mil but then i just allow like an extra two for supplies because who knows how many ticks it's going to take us as well attempts to get it done i am in terms of like what my actual rules for this season are obviously still one hour a day same limits as always in that regard but for like what counts as a raid completion i'm still kind of undecided whether entry mode is too easy and we should try and go to a normal level raid. If it wasn't already clear, I'm going to be doing Tombs of a Mask. It's the raid I know the best and have the best chances with. I could do Tob entry mode, but I don't think I could do a normal Tob solo. Whereas 
I know I can do both entry mode and normal TOA solo, and Cox doesn't even have an entry mode, so yeah, it was an easy choice of TOA. The question is whether entry mode is enough to finish the season or not, or if we should push up to 150 invocation and try and do a normal as well. Now, with the gear setup I'm planning to get, I think a normal would be doable but our levels are going to be a lot lower than I would like. So I think it's going to be something I decide when we're doing it. Like if if I go into raids on my first attempt, I walk through a entry level with no problems whatsoever, then I'm going to make it go on till we get the, the normal completion. But if it takes us a while to get the entry mode completion, then that might be it. I don't know. This is going to take me a while though. So, this is why a lot of today is just going to be catch-up stuff, I reckon. But yeah, aside from the money, we're going to need a lot of levels too, specifically combat. I'm going to be wanting like 75 in most of my combat skills. Defense, strength, magic, all want to be 75. Attack, we want at least 65, but really I don't know if that's going to be reliable enough to be very accurate inside the raid. It's enough to use the gear that we want, but I don't know if it's enough to actually hit the raid bosses. But yeah, we got a long way to go on levels still, so it's going to be a lot of combat levels this season. We're going to be doing some Slayer as well, because I would like to unlock some certain content for training my melee stats. Other than Scurrious, I could just do my melee stats all at Scurrious and it'd be fine, but... We've already spent a lot of time as curious on this account, you know, we've got the pet right here uh, I don't just want to spend like episode after episode stuck in the rat prison again When there are other potential options that are cool that I would like to try out because I've never had an opportunity to try them before now So that's the plan. I'm gonna go and get some slayer levels eventually After we've set up our farm runs and to set up our farm runs I'm planning to do the medium diaries for both Ardy and Lumbridge. To do the Lumbridge one, I'm going to have to get some runecrafting levels. So there's going to be a couple quests for that. For the Ardy one, all we need is Tower of Life and we've got the rest. So we are going to try and do Tower of Life today if we have time after topping this up. Very easy quest, but it is kind of long. There are animations that stall you which is why i've put off doing it before but having that diary will get us a teleport directly to the farming patch which will save us so much time on the farm runs that i think it's worth putting the effort in Not only that we get seven and a half k lamp for the trouble same case with the lumbridge one it will give us a teleport right to the farming patch where we want to be it's a limited amount per day on both of those i think it's three per day but that doesn't matter because we only log in once a day I would prefer to be getting wood cutting XP here, but I can't cut maples yet, so. But yeah, basic gist. Lots of levels to gain, lots of money to gain, and lots of uh, raid attempts to be done. Whether I'm going for entry mode or for a full completion. One thing I'm excited for this season is that I should be able to get a good variety of content in, and I can sort of pick and choose it as I like. Whereas last season was very structured, I have to do these quests basically, these are the the ones that are required or ones that get me the XP I need. You know, I'm just doing lots of quests. It, was, it felt very structured, this season is still going to have as much variety, but it's going to be so much looser, I can sort of just decide what I want to do on any given day rather than following a strict list of quests. I've got bits of plans, don't get me wrong, but I can jump around as and when I see fit, you know, if new content comes out or whatever, I can do it if it's going to be profitable, whatever I feel like doing, as long as it's advancing me towards that goal, I'm not going to be too pressure on myself this season for like rushing from A to B. It's gonna be more chill. An extra nice bonus of getting the Slayer levels that I plan to is that we'll be able to do the Royal Trouble quest and unlock the extra workers for miscellaneous. Get some more GP per day out of that too, so it's a nice benefit. We'll be doing Legends quest as well at some point in the near future. We did of course start it in Season 2 
in order to get our Barrow's Gloves, but we basically made no progress on the quest. And there is 120,000 XP at the end of it, waiting for us, which is going to be a very nice boost to, I think, our defense and attack levels. Most people would focus on strength, but I think I want to get the defense and attack up so that I can wear better gear. Then I can get my strength up with better gear on. The main potential roadblock I see at the minute, or not roadblock, but inefficiency, is... I don't really want to start training my combat stats until I've got myself two pieces of gear that cost about six mil, six and a half mil maybe, a fury and a brimstone ring. Because until I get those, I'm not going to be performing as optimally as I would be with those, and I can wear them at any time. So I want to get them like right away so that, you know, I have the full benefit for the duration of my uh, melee training but that is like a large part of what the budget is that brimstone ring is four mil it's not cheap fear is like two two fifty so i'm gonna have a lot of money to make if i'm gonna work up to that before starting my melee training i do have some ideas in mind though we'll just have to see how well they actually work out for us Oh, that felt like it took a year. We are finally done with the favour. On we go. If anyone wonders why I always go in this side, I just assume it's faster because he's on this side. I'm not actually sure, but I was just always assumed that's the case, so I always go in that way. Okay, let's see what we got. A bit. A bit. That's not bad, though. We'll take it. It's probably better than I was expecting, to be completely honest. Alright, let's go ahead and sell all that. See if we have anything else that needs selling as well. I'm not sure. I don't think we need those. Mixed hide top. Did I actually buy that? Can I even wear that? I don't even know if I can wear that. I mean, we don't really need a combat bracelet anymore, but we might want the teleport, so I think I probably should keep it. Right, let's chuck all this on the G. see what we get. Okay, so we're back up to just over a mil now. After depositing that 500k, that's not too bad at all. I am going to buy myself some Renar Seeds. I think I'm just going to start off with 12. Hopefully those buy, but if they don't buy it immediately, I'm not going to be stressed about it. I'm going to go with 120 of these, because we will need them. We will need them. Okay. Uh, get a backup ring of wealth. We've got tower of life here. We're gonna get a beer and a raw swordfish And we already had a raw chicken. Okay, hammer, saw. Guessing we have a decent amount of stands, maybe Yeah, we do actually have a decent amount of stands. That's okay. We've got energy too. Oh, look at me go. Okay, I think we're pretty good with this. We don't need anything fancy on the builder's outfit. What are they four pieces? Fuck. Uh, I don't want to have to carry something. Ah, it's okay. Who cares? Let's get an arty cape to get there. Bing, bang, bomb. Off we go. We've got quite a high fever level, so this first bit should be easy enough. Okay. Are we going to get the correct one? Gosh damn, that wasn't too bad. Excellent, we didn't replace any equipment either. Okay, this is the bit that I'm gonna absolutely hate, getting this fucking stuff out of the crates takes so long. And there come all the Renar seeds. I'm gonna see if I can't just get the diary done with enough time to spare to do a farm run. If it gets to like 12 minutes maybe, then I'll start thinking about going to do a farm run anyway. But I don't think this quest will actually take us this long apart from searching through these boxes. And um, the diary should be pretty quick. So I'm hoping we can just get it done and then do a farm run after. We're not going to be able to do the Lumbridge diary right away, but we can get there from Drainer as well, so it's okay. Well, that's a horrible sound effect, isn't it? Oh shit, I went into the wrong one. I'm pretty sure we need some of this, so it's a good job, but... Yeah, I still need two more of them. 
Okay, I think we've done the long bits now. We just have to go in and out of this tower a couple times. Because, you know, classic runescape back and forth. Okay, I think I'm just going to monastery teleport rather than going back down for it. I think that's actually quicker. I thought about it when I was running down the first time. I was like, huh, I should have just teleported. Okay, we're almost there. Then we can start the diary. There we are. Right, let's go kill a sword chick. Which one is the sword chick? Oh shit, I didn't even bring gear. I feel like it's one of these, but... Is it this one? Oh no. <laughs> this is way too slow. <sighs> Quite a lot to do here, actually. I don't think we are going to get this done today. I think what I'm going to do now is nip on over to Ferox. And then go and do a farming run. We've got Camelot, we've got Fortis, we've got House Teleport, but we need to move our house. And we need a Dream and Staff. So I want to rake a Seed Dibber, run our seeds, which need claiming, a Spade. And I'm just going to take all the Ultra Compost noted so we can put it in a spot. We're going to need a little bit of cash to move our house. I think that's like it, so don't want to waste any more time. Let's get on with it. Oh, we need the strawberry seeds as well, don't we? So let's go GE real quick. Do you know what else we need for this? We can buy anything we need for this. Do we not have an RCB in the bank? We don't. We have a clue though. Okay, we'll chuck that shit away for now. The thing I also want to do is get the hammer, the chisel, the birdhouse stuff. Is that the one that we're on now? Mahogany, yeah. And I want to not have these in the invent. There. That's what I want. Don't have bank tag layouts on? Perfect. Okay, so I don't actually need that right now. But I did just want to get it in my tab, so we had it nice and set up. Let's get those strawberry seeds, let's get all of our ultra compost, and let's get our ass on over to our day. So we do actually have to go and do this farming patch anyway, before getting the cape, because we need the strawberry seeds planted. So we wouldn't have actually been able to complete this diary today anyway, but we should have time to get all six of our herb patches down and get some more of the diary done. There is quite a few tasks, like I say. I should have probably bought two lots of strawberry seeds to hedge my bets. That was a dumb idea. Well, it was a dumb not idea. We are just going to run straight over here and dump all of that and then take five, six, seven back out. Use one of them here because I want to make sure it grows. Alright, there's our first Renar seeds planted. We will go over to Camelot for the next one. Oh, I didn't get a glory. It's okay, we can use the bank here. And I didn't move my house. I forgot to do that too. Okay, so I'm going to have to tick that off. Alright, back to our farm tab. We want a glory in there. That's what it was. Because we need that to get to Drainer at the minute. Because we don't have the Lumbridge diary yet. And we wanted stamps as well. Whoever's throwing Yu-Gi-Oh cards at me needs to chill. <laughs> Why is that person still following me around? <laughs> Pelting me with whatever the fuck that is. I reckon it's so slow at this farming level. Uh, oh shit, we don't have fire runes. Bollocks. Keep messing stuff up. Wait, do we need earth too? Yeah. Okay, we want to go to Varrock first. This first farm run is the messiest of all. Because I'm just getting set up. But we will get them down to, you know, five minutes max at the start of each day. Okay, we're going to relocate to Hosidius. That's perfect. And then we will go outside the house for the next one. Is there actually a fairy ring? Is that about the same distance as Ardy Monastery? I feel like it probably is. Let's just run over there from here. Over to Port Phasmus. Our final one is in Valamore. Just teleport to Fortis, take the bird over. That's the quickest way to get here as far as I know. Quickest way I've found. 
I also need to make sure I get my magic executors in the bank tab so that I don't not bring them on the next time as they are the most important part of all of this process. So why don't we just go to Ferox, make sure that our bank tab is set up okay. So we do need more runes as well than I initially had in it. So we want this, we want a stam. Gosh, that needs to change to one. Are we ready to do a bit of uh, Not quite yet. Okay, let's get ourselves these U logs and bank any combat gear and go to Entrana. I forgot to reset Ferox or well. I'm hoping because this is in a quest, it's going to show me the route rather than making me look it up. Otherwise, this is going to be annoying, but fingers crossed. Fuck. Did I fuck up? Oh shit! I must have misclicked something. I was going off the guide on my other screen. <laughs> fuck! Okay, that's left me in a bit of a lurch. I'm gonna just go and do a bird house run. Damn, that was so weird. I was barely actually looking at my rune light. I was just sort of reading the directions on the other one here, so I have no idea what I clicked. I wonder if the balloons are in here. Oh, they are! That's actually sick. Okay. I'm just going to go back to try again, straight away. We should have enough time to do it. And let me get my runes as well, actually. Oh, I didn't get the logs. What am I doing? <laughs> this is going to be cutting it a little fine, I reckon. But if it's highlighting everything for me, we might just be able to smack out. All right, take two. Excellent. Let's go. 2005 making it experience and we arrive at Castle Wars. I don't think there's anything really I could do that quickly. We're not really close enough to your nil to run over there. But yeah, we seem to be pretty set up there. For a farm run tomorrow- oh, the magic executors, let me get those in. I definitely need to remember that. I knew there was somewhat in the back of my head that just- yeah, we need to deal with that. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. Yeah, not a great deal done today. We did Tower of Life, of course, and we topped up our miscellanea a bunch. We only gained 20k XP, a couple of birdhouse runs, some mining on miscellanea, and a little bit of alkin and construction XP. Nothing major in particular. We did get that quest done and start on the Ardy Diary. We've got quite a few tasks to do still. I think we have a few of these ticks off already. We have the Castle Wars balloon, I believe we've done. Don't know why it's showing up twice. The Cave Nightshade, I think we did. Yep, we got the Sword Chick. We got Ibans upgrade. Ah, uh, we didn't get the Castle Wars one. I think we did the route. We haven't done the actual... We actually need to fly from Intrana to Castle Wars now. But we couldn't do that quickly tomorrow. Yeah, we should be able to finish this off, get back to another farm run, and then start on some room crafting so that we can do the Lumbridge Diary. And maybe we'll even get that done tomorrow. We'll have a lot less overheads of just catching up with things to do. And yeah, we should then be making a decent bit of money, like 300k passively a day at that point, I reckon, from the birdhouses and the farming combined, uh, which will be super nice. It'll start to build our cash stack progressively as we go around and do a bunch of the leveling stuff that we need to do and the quests and stuff that can give us big experience rewards. Our cash stack will be going up as we're doing that which will help towards those expensive items that I would like to get sooner rather than later with the fury and the brimstone ring. That's basically the plan going for from here. Like I say it's a bit more loose this season. It's gonna be chill. I'm excited. I'm excited though. I think we can do it easily. We can definitely do an entry level raid. We can probably do a normal level raid, but I don't want to say for sure that we are going to be doing because I, I need to feel it. I need to feel how we're, we're doing before I can see how feasible and how long it will take. But yeah, that is going to be all for episode one. I hope y'all are as hype as I am for season three. This is probably going to be the last season because I don't know what else I could really prove after this. Like, the whole point was proving that you can do the end game content with a limited amount of time and we're, we're doing just that you know we've done not the fire capes end game or barrows gloves but iconic content 
not in game content. After a raid, there's not really any further you can go. There's other bosses and stuff, but like the hour limit starts to mean less and less the deeper we go into the, the series. So I feel like this is the last season and I hope you're all hyped for it. Please let me know in the comments if you are and make sure you hit that like button. It does help promote the videos out a ton, which is super nice and helpful for me as I'm trying to grow the channel. And hit the subscribe button, of course, if you haven't already, so that you help grow the channel by being part of my conglomerate of, of viewers. I'm good at words, and because I know how good at words I am, I'm gonna allow myself to stop talking and say goodbye. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.